Hello and welcome everybody back to the channel again. This is Thomas I and Lucky bringing you more Patriots franchise. This morning has been a stressful morning. I wake up fairly early. Um, ever ever since the end of season one, I've kind of flipped around my my sleep schedule. And this morning, the servers weren't working. And by servers weren't working, there was an update last night. Today is November tw or September twenty fifth. And all of the franchise leagues were either gated or deleted for about a two-hour window. That was terrifying. And CM Freeze is asleep. CM Freeze won't be up for another fucking two hours. So I'm here freaking the fuck out. Because we're almost done recording season two. We're past the halfway point. So it would have just been very devastating to see our franchise disappear anyways we're gonna forgive madden i normally do here's the playoff picture we're the one seed we will have a leg up against the ravens if we do fall down to their record because we did beat them head to head um but looking at the nfc cameron isn't the one seed <laughs> he's kind of gotten a little screwed over because all the team like he's really just locked in with the eagles and, um, I don't know if he plays the Eagles. I know we both play the Cowboys. I mean, I, I hope for him that he gets the one seed. I know we have our, our rivalry, but I, I truly, like, within myself, hope for his success. So, we're going to hope that he can find his way to a one seed of his own. Uh, we have some weekly awards. Uh, Marte Mapu, we might have checked that last time. I don't remember. But we do have a breakout linebacker. Now, as much as I'd love this to be Jelani Tavai, I'm pretty sure this is going to be Marte Mapu. I think Marte Mapu can be one of the best linebackers in this league. This was my plan for him this week. I wanted to run it by you first. Six tackles and an interception. What does Choose New Goal do? Okay. I think this is probably the most realistic. Because he hasn't really been a big interception guy. But like when we have sent a blitz, he's been the guy that gets there. All right, um, so we have that. We have focus players that we can already choose. Um, I wish that this was just the main screen we got to see for the players, not some fucking big ass Excel spreadsheet. Um, I never look at the players anymore because I never know jack shit about them. Um, and I feel like I'm kind of in the same boat right here. Um, offensive line seems like we have a solid grasp on the tackles. Let's go ahead and continue to fill out our knowledge then. Um, we're probably in another scenario where we're going to trade back, which I'm pretty okay with. Uh, going into the weekly strategy, defend outside run, I can get behind, throw it medium. I can also get behind. I don't 100% know how I feel about our loss. Um, I'm... There's a part of me that knows I played bad. And then there's the part of me that knows, like, I might need to just attack things differently. But what I'm honestly most scared of is that, um, what's it called? I'm scared that we're going to go into an offensive slump, kind of like how we started out the year last year, where we really weren't getting it together offensively until, like, week whatever. Are you fucking serious? Like, what, what did we start out last season? We started out the year, like... Two and three or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I just... 
I, I hope that we don't go on a losing streak. But I, if I am going to lose, I'd rather get it out before the playoffs. And I think... <clears throat> since we're at the point where we've got... What is it? We're 10 and 1. So the best we can finish is 16 and 1. So we have 16... We have 6 games left in the regular season. I think this is the point where I kind of want to evaluate our stats. And... See what kind of team do we really want to be and go from there. Injury report. Decided to cut my talking points a little short. Just because I wanted to I want to have something to talk about during the game. Um but report looks pretty good. Can't complain. Do we have any players upgrade? Yes we do. And I noticed we have some staff points. Oh Marte Mapu, let's go. Um, what do I want to upgrade with him? I don't care about his finesse or power moves. Not at all. Um, but I mean, when you do run stopping, you're, you're gonna kind of get near that. Um, eventually, maybe we'll up his power and rush moves. But, I don't know. I'm not too worried about him being a, a pass rushing defensive or linebacker. Looking at our stats, obviously last week was rough. We no touchdowns, three picks. I was hoping we'd get out of the season without double digit picks, but I I just had a bad game. Uh rushing wise, Antonio Gibson is nowhere near where he was last year. Um in terms of rushing, we can I guess we were actually not that far off. Um, Antonio Gibson is going to be an emphasis moving forward. Um, in terms of passing, obviously Javon Baker is really like come back to where to what we're used to seeing. Um, I want to continue to sling the ball a little bit, but I also want to put a large emphasis on uh, making sure that we. Establish a run game. Antonio Gibson, we need to keep in mind that he he is a strong focal point of this offense. And last year, Drake May wasn't the focus. And I, I think keeping Drake May away from the focus wouldn't be a bad idea. I passed the Steelers already. Steelers have no injury. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'm not looking forward to playing this team. Uh, the Steelers have a very good defense, as we will see. Their top three, top four players are all defensive. Got X Factor T.J. Watt, ninety-eight overall. Got X Factor Minka Fitzpatrick, ninety-four overall. Superstar Alex Highsmith, ninety-one overall. X Factor Cameron Hayward, eighty-nine overall. You got George Pickens, Najee Harris, Morgan Hick. Oh, this was that strong safety. That was the generational player. So, super <laughs> X-Factor, strong safety, middle linebacker, Pat Fryermuth, Joey Porter, Troy Fatano, Cole Holcomb, Chris Boswell. This is a very good team we're going up against. Offensively, not so much. I don't know who their quarterback is. I'm honestly not that worried about it. But I'm kind of nervous to see how our, how our offense plays after two quote-unquote rough games back-to-back. -back. I think I'm happy that I'm getting the ball first. I'm not exactly thrilled that this is a snow game and they're wearing white jerseys, but I do... Fuck. I do really like that we get the ball first. I like that we kind of get an opportunity to establish something. Um, This defensive line has the potential to give us issues all day, but... Antonio Gibson to open up the game, giving you accurate yardages like I'm normally able to with saying what line I get to. It becomes a lot tougher in the snow because, as you can see, I can't see the lines at all. So, we're going to be playing a little bit safer. Um, Antonio Gibson's going to be my main focal point. Like, that's not really a question. 
as we're gonna we're gonna get the opening touchdown. That's that's good. I guess talking point number one for this video. Obviously, there was the scare this morning that this franchise was just gone. That that was a legitimate concern for me at least. I was thinking like, all right, we were midway of recording season two, and like there are just some things you can't replicate, like even just stats wise. So it it, it would have been. I think very devastating to both me and Cameron if this league would have been cut short due to a cause that wasn't us. We're going to get a stop on third down. This is why I said I'm not too afraid of this offense. I'm also... There might be a bit of pausing in this video. I've been taking a good amount of time. Um, on Twitter or on X to um, abdominal tear for Kevin Wiggins. I'm eh, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, but I've been talking. I've been trying to be active on Twitter regarding this uh, Madden thing. Obviously, A, because it helps my brand. Um, helps attract more to the channel, potentially build a larger viewer base and their sub base but also just trying to help ease the minds as soon as i noticed i was able to get into the servers i made a tweet i responded to some tweets with people that like seemed at least a little bit distraught and people have been responding to my tweets i've just been trying to be a good force in the community so let's uh i hope that bears some fruitful results as Joey Porter. That was really good coverage for you. I know how people would have felt in terms of those that just like they just put a lot of time in no cameras. Like they, they just love to play Madden because it's the only football game they have. And I, I think it's unfortunate that it's unfortunate that something like what happened today has also happened before. Antonio Gibson, what a run. So, like, when something like this happens, and there are people that are not... I don't know if they just genuinely don't like EA, or if they just are whatever. I can say right here that... I, I'm not going to speak on behalf of CM Freeze, but I'm fairly confident he'd share a similar opinion. Neither of us really hate EA. It We don't... Like... I, I wish that the server sometimes was a little better. Specifically in online, like, whenever me and Cameron play each other, normally there's an issue. Or, like, when something that, like, shouldn't happen, like, happens... Then, like, we'll make a comment about it. Like, like for example, the whole <laughs> people losing their franchises. But, like, a lot of our issues are, like, I don't know, sometimes gameplay related, sometimes out of the game. Like, one thing we've both come to agree on is one thing we don't like about, ma like, franchise nowadays is the how... We're just going to say the off-season. And the reason why we don't like it as much anymore is because it used to be our favorite part. We used to love the off-season because it's that time where you get to bring in new pieces, you you draft some players, and you feel excited to go through, go to the next season. Like, there'd be times where, like, we're... It's 8 o'clock at night. Like, we, we get on, and we're, like, a game before the playoffs... And we'd enjoy the experience so much. We'd go from, like, week 16 or 17 all the way to week one of the next season because of how much we just enjoyed doing stuff in the offseason. Nice pick for Jelani Tavai. And now it's, like, one thing that definitely messes that up for us is the draft and scouting players. 
I have never been exceptionally happy about the scouting change that they did. I understand why they did it, but I feel like I know so much less about the players now. I'd rather do what you have to do, or had to do before, or what you have to do in college football, where I have to spend points to learn about a player. I'd rather have that format than have a format where I send people away for an X amount of time, and I, I go to the draft knowing 80% about a player that I had a scout in the fucking region for 15 months. I, I, I just, I, I think that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, that, so we go into the draft and now it's like, we don't know any players. Like we rarely are able to like identify gems cause we don't even know anything in the top end of the draft. It, it just kind of, at least for me, that, um, For me, it's like, I, I just go back to trying to draft athletes. So like I don't want to just draft somebody because they have a fast 40 time. Because it's like, oh, you have a fast 40 time? There's a good chance you have good acceleration, good whatever. And as long as your height is okay, I'm okay with trying to develop you. Like, I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> it's like, I just end up subscribing to the idea that... I should just trade away my, my first round pick when I'm going to be in the playoffs every year. Like, so there's no point. I'm not, I'm not going to trade up in a league where I'm trying to be realistic because I don't want to spend that much. It's, it's just not worth it. But there's that. And then... I initially was a big fan of how they switched up weekly training. But that sediment has corroded over time. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, doing six players every week, and like if we're in a, if we're on a day where we're gonna record a lot back to back to back to back to back, where we record like seven games in a row, it's like that. That's over an hour of just the practice. That gets kind of old. So you can imagine how it feels when you're kind of frustrated. Like, you go through free agency. You kind of do what you need to do. Like, you, you get excited because you you either added depth to your team. You made your team better in some way, shape, or form. And then you go into the draft. You're kind of discouraged because, like... Either you don't get a dev trait on a player you really thought would be good, or or whatever it is. And it, it, it just creates an unfortunate scenario where you go into the preseason, where you then have to start out with a long-ass training camp. And... do that, which, I mean, training camp isn't bad, it's alright, but then it's like, alright, I'm gonna play the moments for all the preseason games, and then do all the practices. It, it just makes getting from the Super Bowl to week one take, like, an extra hour, which is what we aren't the biggest fans of. I... I personally don't mind it, but it just... When, when you're out of, when you're playing the game and you're out of a meaningful game for that long, it's just, I don't know, it's a little iffy for me. I know I, I mentioned some of these when I was doing Madden 24 head-to-head -head ranked online, and I know I said I was going to do more of that in this year's Madden, and I haven't. Um... It's because I played it, and I, I just, I could kind of care less. Okay. 
Damn, if he would have caught that, that would have been a fucking amazing pass. Yeah, this game's really flown by with me just yapping this whole time. I'm gonna be real. Probably a little bit of a longer video, too. Um, I imagine some stuff with the patch is gonna affect the way the game is played a little bit. Like, I know I, I've already been seeing some plays um, <laughs> that are, like, quote-unquote broken now. Or, like, some of the, the plays that are being used a lot in online have switched up. I don't know. I just, I just like playing franchise. Uh, I don't, I didn't remember what the game plans were. I just did both of them to throw at medium. I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's kind of nice to just vent about Madden for a little bit. Um, following today's issues. Um, in terms of offense, we've been doing pretty exceptional. I, I can't lie. We've had a pretty good bounce back game. I can't tell you about Marte Mapu, though. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm in a two-linebacker set for the rest of the game and make sure that he is on the field because I, I am interested in getting him to Superstar. I think he has the potential to... Uh, If he would have fucking caught that like that, that would have been insane. I think Marte Mapu has the potential to be a seven-year linebacker here. Especially with, uh, like, Jelani Tavai potentially not being here in years like five, six, and seven. Like, obviously, we, we don't 100% know, like, what the future is going to be. I guess I can give you guys a little bit of transparency. Both me and CM Freeze are hoping that this doesn't go seven years. We're, we're hoping that it's done in like five or six. I, I, I think it'd be a good thing for both of our channels to win a Super Bowl. Obviously, I've already done that. But I think it'd be a good thing for him to win one. And... That was interesting. So, I, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm going to give him a Super Bowl, but I, I, I'm I, playing with the realistic thought that there's no way he doesn't win a Super Bowl. Like like I said a few weeks ago, only one of us has ever 4-0'd, and it was him. So... Those are just kind of my expectations. Um, we will be doing two leagues this year, so we'll have this one. We're hoping to have this league completely wrapped up by the Super Bowl. And um, have this league wrapped up by the Super Bowl and then start our second league after the Super Bowl. Uh, I think four uploads a week is something you could expect to see pretty soon. Maybe probably in season three. Uh, just to make this more of a reality. That was a, a throw I don't think I liked. Antonio Gibson's having a good bounce back game. That's for sure. As well, as the, This offense as a whole has had a good game. All right, same order of business. Good job, Josh Uche. Speaking of people who have just had incredible seasons, he has been amazing for us this year. Um, I don't know what our stats are with Mapu. I'm a little nervous. I, I'm at the point where I'm not too confident that we're going to get what we need. Um... Caleb Farley, second interception of the day. Yeah, we... I, I really like how this team can make it very tough on a younger quarterback. Or on a less developed quarterback, I guess would be a good way to put it.
I don't like anything I had. I, I had players open, but I just... Some of the throws I had available to me, I just was not a fan of. I'm also really not a fan of uh, Minka being in his X Factor. I'd rather take the yards than give him a sack. Got third and 23. Don't know why I haven't run the ball at all. If I get, like, if I get the fourth and eight, I'll probably run it. Do I have the ability to kick the field goal? If I can, you know what? I'll give it a whirl. I should have probably filled that out more. Yep, it's going to be short because of that. That's unfortunate. I mean... Hit it dead fucking center, but oh well. Defense back on the field. Some of the best field position the Steelers have had today. That was interesting. Who is that? I wasn't really accounting for uh, that guy to just bounce the tackle like that. A good stop by Ashton Davis. I don't think that's going to count for a tackle for loss. That I think that was my real shot there. Big sack for Levi Anzarike. I think it's fifth on the air, fourth and a half. One of the two. Chris Boswell kicking in the snow just... Just next to the logo. Is he going to make this? Yes, he is. We've allowed 38 total yards of offense. What a performance by our defense. I mean, I think Antonio Gibson is deserved player of the game. I mean, four touchdowns is always going to allow that. Um, extra yards on a play like that's always nice. That's not what I want to see. His third fumble of the year. That doesn't exactly excite me, if I'm being honest. Big play to Hunter Henry, though. Never like seeing a massive hit like that, because I, I instantly think injury, and... Wow. That was... That happened quickly. I'm trying to get back on defense so I can have an opportunity with Marte Mapu. He gets bumped by Patrick Queen, and that's not going to count as a pass interference either. <laughs> like, I see him make the cut. I'm like, all right, he's going to be right here. But then he doesn't fucking move, so then the targeters, wherever it was... Just unfucking believable. That just kind of pissed me off if I'm being completely honest with you. And they're just not, they're just not putting it anywhere near where Mapu is. And Mapu is just not even on the field in this play. That's really cool. I am thoroughly annoyed right now. That was my opportunity for a pick. I, I blew that one. The fact that three of them were in the area and none of them got an interception there is insane. I wish I could see the fucking end zone. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, I'm very annoyed right now. I... I wish it was total yards. Instead of, like, I remember back in the day it used to be like, don't allow 250 yards and whatever. Like, this team does that so fucking easily. I don't know.
All right, 35 10 is your final. Antonio Gibson, player of the game. Looking at the stats, Drake May, not a bad day. Interceptions, not my fault. That's just fucking bullshit. Tony Gibson, great day on the ground, great day through the air. Javon Baker, solid day. Same thing with Hunter Henry, Rizal Douglas. Can't complain. Did that count as a sack? On Braxton Jones, don't care about that. Sacks wise, got one tackle for loss. Marte Mapu got one, but only three tackles. Fucking fantastic. Caleb Farley, two picks. Johnny Tavaya pick. That's infuriating. Readdressing the breakout linebacker. I'm assuming it's not going to give it to us. We set a different goal for you in the game in that game. But as a defense, you guys played well together and did some good things. Clearly. I didn't have the game I wanted, but like you just said, we did some good things. Fucking go! Oh my god! I didn't think he'd give it to us. <laughs> oh, let's go! Oh my god! Look at how beautiful it is! <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. Wow, one new injury. That's Kevin Wiggins probably out for three weeks, four weeks. Well, three after this one. So we'll get him back very late in the season. See him freeze hasn't played his game. That's quite the way to end off a week where I had a lot of emotions. 11-1, and one, take it easy. Peace.